gizmo called mineral identification. We have a little shelf here with the different samples of minerals. It's labeled sample A, and we can go on to sample B, C, D, all the way up to sample Z, and we can back up as well. We can look at uh, different qualities of the mineral sample up here. Um, now we're looking at the appearance. We have the different crystal shapes and the lusters. We can also look at the density, and it brings up the tools for that. We can click on hardness, and we have different tools for that. Streak, we have the one uh, white tile for that. And then we have another one called acid reaction. We're going to start off with the appearance. We can pick up sample C and can place it over here by the other um, shapes on the chart. And we can see that sample C has an irregular shape to it. We can compare it to the different lusters. And this is very difficult to judge on the simulation, but we're going to call it a metallic luster. Next, we're going to look at the density. Remember that density is mass divided by volume. So I place sample C on the scale to find its mass, and it says 328.1 grams. And then we're going to find its volume. To find the volume, we're going to get a graduated cylinder here with some water. The water is up to the 40 milliliter mark. We place the sample in the water, and the water sample or water level goes up to 57. Each one of these tick marks represents an additional 2 milliliters. So it's between the two tick marks here. It'll be 57 milliliters. So to find the density, we divide the um, mass by volume. The mass is 200 or 328, and the volume is. Oh, we need to subtract the two volume levels to find the volume of the sample. 57 minus 40 is going to be 17. So 328 divided by 17 is going to be about 19. The density is going to be 19. Next, we look at hardness. We scratch different samples to see its hardness. We can scratch the fingernail and notice that there is white appearing. That represents scratches. So we know that it's harder than our fingernail. It's harder than 2.5 on the scale. We try to scratch the penny, and there are no white lines that appear. So that means that it is softer than 3.5. So let's just call it a hardness of 3. To find out the exact hardness, we would have to do some more testing with more materials. Next, let's go on to streak. So we just rub it onto this white plate here, and we see that it has a yellow color, yellow streak. And finally, acid reaction. Just hold the dropper over, and it will automatically drop little bits of acid. And there's nothing that spectacular that happens. There's a little cloud of splashiness that happens here, but nothing else. Um, if there was a reaction, it would be bubbly like soda pop and lots of little tiny um, explosion kind of stuff going on for a few moments. That did not happen, so there's no reaction to um, acid in this sample. So look at your charts in your handouts. Find the, um, find the row that has a irregular appearance. Metallic luster, a density of about 19, a hardness of about 3, a yellow streak, and no acid reaction. You should find out that that is a gold sample. Okay, now we've done all the different tests on this one sample. You do the same kind of a thing with the other samples as directed in your handout.